All right, so today we are doing an Anime Warriors tier list for every character. I am trying to tell you which characters to go for. If you like the video, don't forget to leave a like, comment down below, subscribe with post notifications, and let's get right into it, right? So first off, we're going with D tier. D tier, if I'm being completely honest with you, I ju just every fodder character is D tier. They are not good. They are trash. They are just there for you to feed and boost your characters in terms of levels, right? That's what they're there for, and that's what they're going to stay there for. Next is C tier. C tier is every two star. So that means every like, what's it called? Common, uncommon character. That's where they'll be at. Cause like, they just do not deserve like any like justification. There are some good ones like Krillin. Krillin's not bad, but he still doesn't like go above a C. He's still like decent, but I wouldn't call him any really good. He don't use like, don't put anything on what's it called D tiers because like nothing's that bad as fathers. So like C tier and above is just like the true tier list. Next is I Uryu. Uryu has a good moveset. While he has a good moveset, he has some long range, uh, what's it called, abilities. But in terms of damage, he just doesn't do much and doesn't, like, what's it called? He won't help you grind as much as you could. He's still a very good character to get, especially if you're starting out, which is pretty much what all C tiers are. They're not bad. They're just there to really, like, uh, help you out and everything so Uryu fits that goku's not bad either like he only has three moves but compared to vegeta he's just not it luffy luffy luffy's to just not it at all i like i i had a mind to put luffy on d but like he's all right so i'll just keep him there since it's luffy and he's a three star and he does what he's supposed to do next is napa napa and radish are like kind of like together and once you have them on the team it's it's looking nice i think that what's it called uh they're not the best characters but they're actually pretty decent like if you do summon them like they're a great starting character to have and they're not terrible but they're not exactly great either next is obviously sanji 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 is just like 100 percent all right i wouldn't necessarily say in a what's it called I wouldn't necessarily say that Sanji's great because he's kind of like Luffy in terms of like you need to be very close range and some of like his movements sometimes won't hit but in terms of overall capabilities as a starting character he still deserves like a little bit of praise but he's still gonna say C tier. Next we have B tier this is mostly made of four stars and like one three star. Ichigo, Ichigo is like good like he's really good especially if you're starting out like he, he's a three star he's not even a four star which i'm surprised i couldn't put him there but what's it called he's really good in terms of like everything he's nice with uh, what's it called in terms of like close range and like what's it called decent aoe damage so like he definitely deserves the b tier kakashi kakashi's like straight dookie but like since he's a like a four star actually not even bro kakashi kakashi doesn't even deserve to be on like the four star if i'm being completely honest with y'all kakashi doesn't really deserve to be on the four star he should be a three star but since he does have that four star advantage he's still like kind of like a b wouldn't exactly say that he's the best thing you could get but he's all right same thing with zabuza zabuza is not really that good but it's still like he's still good for starter characters like especially if you're in the four star i do not recommend doing the one piece with either of those because like the one piece area will just mess you up with those gunners because these guys cannot cope with him in any way shape or form next we have zoro zoro is good for like a uh, close damage and he even has like some mid-range moves and like he he'll fit into your category in terms of like everything that you need for a starting character piccolo piccolo is a, is a sleeper like not a lot of people think piccolo is good but if you know how to use him properly he's definitely worth he's probably he's definitely on kakashi and ichigo level and even zoro next we have eight here which is pretty much like the best two like four stars you can get which is gar and vegeta gar and vegeta are just goaded like they both have aoe moves they both have things that can help you like run away from people and it's just he's just like good as heck like vegeta used to be meta but like now he low-key got replaced with gar a little bit but if you do not have all the six stars or like the five stars obviously like um gar and vegeta are the ones you should go for next we have the s i probably should have done like s and then s plus but since i didn't really want to i'll just say s plus for now right so the two three s plus characters that i would say are broly mihawk and urahara these three are menaces to society they are s plus if you get those you are fine broly has the aoe's that you need mihawk has the damage that you want and urahara has both he has aoe's and he has damage and he has stuns which again 
Gold of fight. Next, we have uh, Minato. He's just a regular S, in my opinion. While he is good in terms of, like, what's it called, damage and, like, what's it called, targeting, like, mobs, he does lack an AoE factor because if you don't, like, unlike Broly, Broly doesn't exactly need all of them to be huddled up. Neither does Mihawk, really. As long as they're close to the thing, they'll get hit. But Minato's Rosengan are one of your two only damaging moves, and they, it needs them to be huddled, huddled up together. And with that, you might not be able to get the most, uh, what's it called? You might not be able to get the most for your time, because what's it called? They will also be hitting you, making you lose HP. So that's why I think that Minato is exactly, like, you know, the best five star you can have or like the best character you can have while he is still a good character in terms of everything i just do not think that he's a uh, four star like he's five star like i mean he's not s plus level my bad and urahara is just goldify like in terms of like he has good damaging moves he has he has extra musa he's the only character with extra musa so if anything i would put urahara at ss but like he's still an s character but yeah that's pretty much the tier list video i hope you guys enjoyed it if you did, don't forget to leave a like, comment down below, subscribe, and post notifications. And